what's up guys today we're going to be doing this 3d uh, floating logo effect from Jon Olsen's video so this is my video clip here and the first thing you want to do is split the video clip where you want the effect to start pressing shift command D and then I'm going to duplicate this video clip just by copy and pasting it command C command V and then I'm going to go to the start of the clip where it's split and right click go to time and go to freeze frame so now we have this freeze frame I'm going to stay at the beginning of the clip and use the pen tool to draw around the badge and create a mask so now we have a freeze frame of the badge the next thing I'm going to do is select the um, video clip and go up here to animation and go to track camera so once the 3d camera tracker is done then you want to find a target that faces the same way as the badge right click go to create null and camera so now what i'm going to do is go to the badge layer click and hold this parent link and just attach it to the null and then i'm going to select the uh, 3d icon just click that right there so now that should be tracked we just need to make the scale of this badge a lot bigger because it's got really small from the track so what i'm going to do is press select the badge press s and just bring the scale up like this and then i'm just going to line it up with the original badge so you can do this by clicking and holding the badge to move it around Okay, so once you've successfully lined up the badge, it should stick over the original badge the whole way through. The next thing I'm going to do is animate the position of the badge to make it look like it's coming off of the car. So to do that, what I'm going to do is select the video clip and press P for position. Select the keyframe at the start of the clip. Move forward and then just use the Z axis, bring the badge. So yeah, you just want to animate it so that the badge goes into the position that you want it to. And then that should look something like this. Okay, so now I'm going to select my keyframes once I'm happy with them and right click and go to keyframe assist, easy ease. So that's just going to smooth out the animation of the badge. And now I'm going to make the shadow for the badge. So I'm going to select my badge clip, copy and paste that. And then I'm going to press P for position and just get rid of the end position. Because we don't want the shadow to move, we want the shadow to stay on the car. And then I'm going to go up to the effects and go to drop shadow. And I'm going to add drop shadow to that and go up here to the parameters and I'm gonna click shadow only. So to make the shadow look like it's getting bigger as the badge moves out, what I'm going to do is bring up the mask and I'm gonna go down to mask expansion and just add a keyframe at the start and then move out to the end position keyframe of when the badge stops moving. And I'm just going to make the mask bigger. Just like that. And then I'm gonna go back up to the drop shadow and try and imitate the shadow from the um, wing mirror. So it's sort of down towards the left. So I'm just gonna change the direction and the other parameters so that it looks fairly similar. And then also keyframe the distance and direction just to tweak it, just to make sure it sits in the right place. And then what I also just did is move the shadow just back in the Z orientation, just so it sits behind the badge. Okay, so now that that's done, we need to create a patch for the original badge on the car. So to do that, what I'm going to do is pick a frame here and I'm gonna to go to composition, save frame as Photoshop layers and just open that up in Photoshop. And then I'm going to pick an area right next to it here would be good or even this bit here. I'm gonna go with this bit right here I'm going to select that 
and crop it down and then save it and export it as a PNG. And then I'm going to go back to After Effects and bring in the patch that we just made. Drag that down underneath the shadow. And then I'm going to copy the mask, select the mask from the badge, copy and paste it onto the patch. and move it to the area uh, which just has the paintwork. And then I'm going to parent that to the null and turn it into a 3D image. Just gonna have to bring up the scale. And then I'm gonna place that over the badge. Let's just get rid of the this badge. Once you've lined up the patch over the badge, then it should stick to the car and you might have to keyframe the mask expansion um, and things like that just to clean it up. So I'm just going to add the bit of um, glow from the badge that was also in Jon Olsen's uh, video effect. And to do that, what I'm going to do is select my uh, badge layer. So the main badge and right click and go to layer styles and outer glow. And then if you go down into the layer styles and outer glow down here on the timeline, you can go to the settings and adjust the settings to match the glow you're going for and change the blend mode if you want better color from it. And then once you have the glow you want, uh, go down and click keyframe on spread, start it at zero and also the opacity. And that's going to give you the glow effect. Cool. And that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one.